Hola gang, I am over here at Burger King today to try one of their brand new Chicken Philly Royal Crispy Wraps. Yeah! Welcome back to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your old nerd of the day, and I do try things so you don't have to. So, yeah. After a long hiatus of going to BK because they have done me so dirty so often and I just said, I'm done. I'm not doing you guys anymore. You're, you're sucking. Because I did not get what I was supposed to get. So I don't really know what it's like. Which is absolutely poorly wrapped. Looks like a monkey did this one. Horrible. This is not what I ordered. This is not what I ordered. This is a bacon croissant sandwich. Not what I ordered. I don't believe it. If you only have a dollar, just one single buck in some pocket fuzz, and that's all you have, and the only thing around you for 80 miles is a single Burger King, then you may consider it. I decided to come back, give them another shot be because of a couple new things that they brought out and this is one of them. So they also have a Philly sandwich, which I've seen a lot of people do. So I thought I'd, I'd be a little bit different, you know, and, and do the wrap. Old guy goggles on, mobile phone of fluff. It says the chicken Philly Royal crispy wrap is white meat breast filet, savory royal sauce, don't know what that is, melty Swiss cheese, and flame grilled peppers and onions, all in a soft, warm tortilla. I absolutely love Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. So, so anything that anybody brings out that resembles a Philly, I'm on top of it. I want one. Handy dandy steering wheel tray there to keep everything in its place and off my lap. There is the bag it comes in, BK, BK. Got the damage on the outside to be revealed later. Got some napkins and here's the wrap. This actually smells good. I can smell it through the wrapper, which is a strong indication that they, they're they doing this right. I mean, I can smell the peppers and the onions very, very strong. Let me unwrap it. All right, well, there's a pepper that was just kind of lonely all by itself, but look at that. Oh my gosh, nice crunch. I totally expected it to be soggy and mushy and icky, but that had a good crunch to it. All right, there it is, outside the bag. So it's it's a, a decent size, I guess. It's not big, it, it probably won't fill you up unless there's a lot of stuff inside, but it does have some decent thickness to it, which shows me that at least there's something inside. They have got it grilled a little bit, as you can see. But uh, yeah, okay, okay, let's give it a shot. See what's inside. Take another bite just so you can see a little bit more of the innards because I really can't see it that well right now. Okay, so there you go. You can see the peppers in there. See the cheese and the chicken. You can see the onions if you look hard enough. I mean, I really wish it was a cheesesteak instead of chicken, but um, with the, you know, it's kind of like a, a pho um, Philly cheesesteak sandwich, just with chicken instead. Oh, got a little drippies going on there. Do it again. Right there is one of those grilled onions. Nice crunch. There's a better look at some of the stuff hanging out the end. All right, so the damage on the 
Burger King, I always got to look when it's big, long title. The Chicken Philly Royal Crispy Wrap was $2.99. So that's not too bad, um, considering the size and uh, that it's it's more of a snack, I'd say, uh, if unless you add like fries and stuff like that, rather than an entire meal all by itself. Okay, so let me break it down. Um, the tortilla was nice, it was soft, it tasted fresh, just a tiny bit grilled, um, so yeah, it was good. Uh, the inner stuff, the onions and the cheese, and the green peppers and the red peppers, they all had a good crunch to them, and they all tasted how they were supposed to. The onions taste like onions, peppers taste like peppers, and cheese was cheesy. The um, chicken filet, it was tender, it was juicy, it was hot, um, didn't have really hardly any seasoning on it whatsoever, which is kind of disappointing, and it's not crispy. It's not like an extra crispy, like at Popeyes or at KFC or something like that. Didn't get any crunch, but it had a pretty decent flavor. All right, so on the Neurometer, I would give a lap peppy right there. I, I'm not saying all that again. Um, I think I would give this a middle of the road. I like it. I, I actually think that with this, at least at this particular location, this particular making of the sandwich, they've kind of redeemed themselves. I'm, I'm hoping for good things going forward, but I'm not getting my hopes up too much because I know that with BK's reputation, at least with me, those will be crushed. But you know, you can always be a glass half full or glass half empty person. And today I'm being a glass half full. I do wish it lived up to its title and that filet was crispy. Nice crunch. Always gotta have nice crunch. But if you want anything like a Philly cheesesteak, you're gonna want the real deal. You know, the, the peppers and everything that they had here and the onions, but with the Philly cheesesteak. So this is, it, it, it's kind of odd combination but it, it worked so yeah this is this is fairly good um i would recommend that you go out and give it a shot and if you do go ahead and leave a comment down below let me know what you thought as well as any of the other uh the, the other one single philly offering that they have that sandwich let me know if you tried that same thing down below there you go gang another review in the bag thank you so much for being here you guys have a freaking awesome day. I'll see you on the live streams. Take care of yourselves. Bye.